Hey guys, it's Eula. So welcome back to the Two Equestrian Girls channel. So this is going to be a lunging and um, liberty video. So I'm starting off just by getting Picasso to walk in a circle. And he's a bit hyper in this video, so he starts trotting, but I'm fine with that. Just want him to get his energy out. So I'll keep him trotting for a few laps of the trot. And then I'll ask him for the canner. He tends to be a bit hard to get the canner on the lunge line, so I really have to like enforce the canner. But once I get him to canner, I'll usually canner for two to three laps, depending on the size of the circle I'm getting him to do. And as you can see, I am enforce reinforcing him to keep going at the canter by using um, the lunge line. And then I'm asking him to join back up to me um, by just by putting my lunge line down and um, standing in place instead of walking around um, and following him. So now I'm asking him to canter the other way. He tends to be a bit more, let's just say, energized in this direction so um i my goal here is to try to get him to slow down from a really fast and forward canner into a more relaxed western canner And so here you can see he breaks into a trot and I didn't want him to trot. So again, I just reinforce the canter and then he starts again. Oh. And now I just ask him to go back to the trot and just to finish up our lunging exercises. And now I ask him to connect back to me and I'm just taking the lunge line off of his halter and I'm just gonna let him loose just so he can get off a bit of his energy. And sorry if I go out of the view a bit. It's quite hard to stay in a small little box of a view when you have a horse running around. And so he does, he's a horse that tends not to go in laps. He tends to go from one end of the arena to the other and then back again. So um, I try to get him to go in more of a circle than just going up and down because it's just going to help like get him more worked out of his hyper state. And now I'm just dropping my lunge line 
and getting him back into my focus and so I can work on some liberty training. So I've been working on liberty training with him for a few months now and he's doing pretty good. So here I'm just working on um, just walking in a circle and getting him to pay attention to me and where I want him to go. And now I asked him for the trot and he's doing pretty good at staying in a circle and following me and following the pace. So another thing we're working on is getting him to stop at Liberty Circles. Um, sometimes he just continues on and today he did pretty good at stopping when I asked him to. So now I'm just gonna let him relax after doing some work and this is why we're working on Liberty because he tends to listen for the first like five minutes and then he decides that he doesn't really want to listen to me or work anymore and he just sort of loses his focus so right here I'm asking him I'm gonna ask him for the trot and he's just sort of lost his focus he goes into a faster walk but he doesn't quite get to the trot so once he gets to that point and of not really wanting to work anymore, I'll just sort of let him stop and relax. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.